unpack my stuff here. I have a medical condition that when I'm not medicated prevents me from being very mobile. Tonight I'm partially medicated. I don't know what would happen. I don't think I could get up here without some form of medication. I can't be drug free. Even my wife, I don't let see me in this condition. Our instincts as humans and animals are to cover our weaknesses. Don't show them to anyone. Don't look weak. Don't look vulnerable. I think we all do that in some respects. We all wear veneers or facades to cover the things we're either ashamed of or that society, we think, society will not accept about us. One thing society may not accept about us is our forgetfulness. So, in preparation for all this, I want to make sure I remember these lines. One thing, <clears throat> I didn't know what to expect tonight, because I don't let myself be this way very often. It's sort of an experiment for me, for you. My wife doesn't even know what I'm doing. She'll find out. <clears throat> Testing our boundaries. There are some things in the world worthy of pity. I don't, I really don't believe I'm one of those. As long as I have hope, purpose, there's no, there's no pity to be had there. I have a lot of hope for purpose, for my struggles. I truly believe there is a purpose, or will be a purpose, for my body's imminent decay. If nothing else, I have a great deal of purpose in two children and two young children at home. I texted my wife tonight to find out how they're doing. Found out my son, student of the month. It's a surprise, don't tell him. So I'm thrilled about that. The spring in my step, you wouldn't know it. So I didn't know I'd be a little bit, uh, I don't get, let myself get this way, so I didn't know I'd be a little bit uh, less mobile, less alert than I seem to be. But it's going to get better, I promise. I suspect that my overall burdens are in line with those of virtually everyone else in here. I have a name for my condition. Doctors can diagnose it. Medical researchers all over the world are working on it. But most of the challenges people face, they face silently, alone, without a month for their awareness for that particular condition. Life never fails to thrust change at us. We build this comfort zone and we, we aggressively define it. We leave, we have comforts today that were never imagined by our ancestors. We're addicted to comfort like heroin. 
By definition, stepping outside, by definition, discomfort does not fit into our comfort zone. Nor is appearing different from the norm. A freak or showing weakness. We all have veneers that hold us. We all use veneers to hold back perceived weaknesses, true feelings, true desires. Nobody wants to be exposed. I feel better when people think I have the life I show on Facebook. I feel better when I dress for success and I, people think I'm successful because of the clothes I put on. I feel better when my flaws, when I convince myself my flaws are less than yours. But all this concealing, feigning, denying require effort, much effort. It takes loads of fluff and bluster to prop up an image. Energy, the energy to maintain the images. Keep us from really living life. Surreptitiously, we become a slave. We don't even own ourselves anymore. Void of authenticity. So we hoard tangible items. Light clicks. Never-ending ego enhancements. But freedom for our soul lies when there's nothing left to lose. Our opinions of people based on limited observations are often woefully incomplete. There's a pill I take that remarkably disguises my body's limitations. It doesn't mask everything. It does a really good job. What you're looking at right here is man's answer to a prayer, nicely packaged in a convenient, conveniently sized bottle with childproof lid. gives me life again. Again, hiding behind a veneer, right? Now, this compound begins the process of rebooting my brain my brain will then be able to take some command of my body again. But this will take a little while because it's not a very entertaining process. I'm going to leave, I'll come back, do a Jekyll and Hyde impersonation. I don't know if what you're seeing is Jekyll or Hyde. I don't really know the story that well. <laughs> but when, when I come back, you see someone who's more or less has their life back. So you're going to see some talented, much more talented people than me. This was the before. I want you to see the after.
I know it's been quite an experience for me. I walked out tonight just before I came in. Y'all didn't see it. It was an incredible lightning show. Incredible. It's an amazing place, amazing world we live in. Don't let any of it pass you by. All these moments, I'm struggling. You know what? I'm out of my comfort zone. Sometimes it feels like crap, but it's another, it's another thing I've conquered. All y'all are here. Y'all know the feeling. Life's a rush. Don't ever let it beat you down. Thank you.